Good afternoon, good evening, and praise the Lord. Eh, you guys, you're not happy to be here. I, I think I'm the only one who qualifies to have your, your tone of voice because I've been awake since about 4 a.m. to catch a flight, traveled five and a half hours straight home, just dressed up and ran here. But I'm, I feel like I'm sounding louder than you. Let's, let, let's, let's get a bit louder. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Amen. Are you glad to be here? I'm probably happier than all of you. Um, let's stand up and we recognize the presence of our guest of honor. Our guest of honor is the one who is, who was, and who is to come. He's the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. He's the ruler over the kings of the earth. He's the king of kings, the lord of lords, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the alpha and the omega. Ladies and gentlemen, let us stand up and put our hands together and let us make a joyful noise as we acknowledge Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. Friends, that is the person without whom this conference will be of no benefit. The reason we have gathered here, friends, this is not another conference. Inspire is not a conference. Inspire is a movement towards a revolution in the marketplace. We believe, the Bible says, creation is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. Friends, the things that are happening in the world today shall never be solved by anybody else but the sons of God. If you look at the Bible, when King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream he could not translate, he called his magicians and he told them to tell him the dream and to translate it. And they were unable to do that. And then they says, if you don't tell me, I'm going to kill you. And they go to start killing them until they reached Daniel. And Daniel asked, what are we being killed for? And they were told, because the king has had a dream, he cannot translate. And Daniel said, doesn't all interpretation come from God? And says, just give me time. He told the king, just give me a few days. I don't even think it was days. But he was able to not only tell the dream, but also translate it. Friends, when the wisdom of this world stops... The Bible says that is even lower than God's foolishness. When Joseph, Pharaoh, was unable to solve a challenge, he called his wise men and they were unable to solve the problems. And that's when Joseph came on the scene. Friends, the things that are happening in the world today are giving opportunity for the sons of God to manifest. It is time for us to appear on the scene, to provide solutions to the world's challenges. Just last weekend, the U.S. announced it authenticated the marriage of, I mean, the gay marriages. We know that that is not God's standard. And it's, the, the Bible says, in the last days, weakness shall increase. But the Bible also says that in the last days, the kingdom of God shall be preached in all the earth, and then the end shall come. Um, we are here, this Inspire Conference is gathering Christian leaders past, present, and future. We are mobilizing us and being challenged to manifest. I want us to take our seats. Um, our guest of honor, our guest speaker, Reverend Julian Chula. Uh, the co-speakers, Pastor Solomon Ikioda, um, Dr. James Magara, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. It's my, it's with much delight that I welcome you all to the 11th season of the Inspire Conference. And it's indeed a great pleasure for us to have Reverend Chula once again leave his busy schedule to come and speak to us during this year's conference. Um, I was told by somebody Julian was speaking to, he doesn't know how we got him to commit four days of his extremely busy life to come and be with us. Friends, it's a privilege to have Reverend Chula with us. And we appreciate Julian for accepting to come. Inspire 2015 and the Inspire Conference, for those that don't know, is a motivational conference that is organized 
by a coalition of dynamic and enlightened professionals with a zeal to uphold excellence, excellent work ethics and service delivery. Our major purpose is to challenge and equip professionals to stand out as excellent leaders in their area of influence. We are calling for leaders because it's leaders that influence others to follow. If we attract followers, they will be led by other people. I want you to know that you are here in the capacity as a leader. All of us have got some unique thing about us that only, the Bible says that man may make his plans, but God's purpose shall prevail. And God's purpose is the original intention for his creating us. Each one of us is a piece of a jigsaw puzzle that only you can fit in your place. There's something each one of us here, only us, are, we are created to satisfy. And so as we come together and as we go through these four days, I want you to desire for God to show you that place that only you was created to fit in. Because unless you manifest, the puzzle will not be complete. In the last 11 years, this conference has attracted and motivated more than 3,000 members. We've been in existence for 11 years, and every year we gather so that we can remind ourselves that we are not just ordinary human beings and ordinary Christians. We are actually marketplace ministers. Whatever profession, whatever position, whatever place we have been situated in, we are there so that we can manifest as the children and the sons of God. This is a coalition, like Elijah has told us, of young workers and professionals from fellowships of churches in Kampala, Watoto, All Saints Cathedral, the Church of the Resurrection, Buglovi Church of Uganda, Makere Full Gospel Church, and Deliverance Church, Makere Hill, who believe that if one can chase a thousand, then two can chase tens of thousands. Friends, we believe in synergy. One plus one is greater than two. And the reason why we're synergy is because when you go to the marketplace, you don't choose the people that you find in that, in that organization. We come from different backgrounds. The thing that is uniting all of us, friends, is Christ. It doesn't matter which church you go to. Like Elijah was saying, Jesus is coming back for his bride, which is the body of Christ. You may labor yourself as you choose, but as long as you're a believer in Christ, we are one in Christ. So our fellowship brings together professions, professionals across the whole economic spectrum, and Inspire is proudly associated with highly sought after executives and entrepreneurs in Africa. And it has attracted a number of internationally renowned Christian motivational speakers, authors, and business leaders. Our mission and activities are geared towards raising a generation of effective Christian leaders. We passionately believe that the time is now for Uganda and Africa as a whole to rise and take its place in the global marketplace and for Christians to lead in this revolution. We are calling for Christians. Friends, this Christianity we have is not just to sing for the two hours on a Sunday morning. We spend more time outside. When Jesus was talking about the end times, all his illustrations were somebody in the field, somebody in the marketplace. He was not talking about people in church. And the challenge for us Christians, church Sunday, I like, it's, I think, worship habits that has this slogan, Sunday is garage time. Church sun starts on, on Monday. We go to church to get service. That's when you check the oil in your car. Then you go and begin to be the salt and light in the marketplace. And so our, as our commitment is to this quest, and we hold this annual conference that brings us together and our members and associates from the diverse professions. This conference serves to rekindle the decisions that are pertinent to being an effective Christian leader and also to focus the members and associates to individual and corporate responsibility. It's our conviction that your participation in this conference shall not shall avail you with a priceless resource to advance in what is purposeful in life and the marketplace. It will also present to you a lifetime opportunity to network with professionals from a wide spectrum of industries. Friends, everybody here is a potential customer or a potential employer. So depending on who you are and what you want, Utilize these people. We've got people from different backgrounds, like Elijah has said. Over the years, I, I tell people I, I'm probably the greatest beneficiary of Inspire 
because I have made networks. I have got to know people. I have gotten, and, and, and that is really what it's about. When we come together and we discover that there's a lot of potential between us and this synergy is what will make us greater and stronger. Over the past five years, God has been leading us in a peculiar direction as our themes have evolved. In 2009, that was the first time Julian Chula came to speak at an Inspire con conference. And that was the first time I ever heard of these mountains. He introduced to us the 22 world systems that are bridged into the seven mountains that we Christians need to take back. He says the kingdoms of this world, he was talking about the kingdoms of this world that the Bible says will become the kingdom of our God and his Christ. In 2010, we had Julian again. He came and expounded them and confirmed that it was time for the transfer. He said we had it, we want it, sorry, we had it, we lost it, and we want it back. In 2011, we had Bishop John Brown Masinde to, who came to announce to us a season change, that a new season had begun from the focus of Peter on the Jews within the church walls to Paul on the Gentiles and the marketplace. A shift from being fishermen to becoming fishers of men. And he was telling us that Christians were being challenged to go into the secular run industries to take the kingdom principles there. In 2012, under the theme Time for the Shift, Bishop J.B. Masinde shared with us examples of workers in the Bible and the role of the worker in the marketplace. He was challenging us to experience the shift, the transfer of dominance from non-believers to the sons. And we are going slowly but surely to begin to take over the seven mountains of influence that influence the world. It is time indeed to take over. It is time to shift power. It's time to shift position. It's time to shift approach. In 2013, under the theme, Believe the Promise, Dr. Steve Ogan exposed to us the promises of the 13th year, how to raise marketplace ministers. That year as well, Pastor Leban Jumba taught us about the Moses leadership model in the marketplace. Last year in 2014, as we celebrated 10 years of Inspire, under the theme Enlightened to Illuminate, we were challenged to emulate biblical characters like David, like Daniel, and the three Hebrew men that illuminated the minds of the kings and brought about significant transformation in their day. We also got enlightened on the significance of the 10th year season of our ministry and the significance of the 14th year season, and as well as the Genesis model of transforming the marketplace. Other concepts drawn were drawn from Mary and the alabaster box, being examples of the kind of people God is raising for the, for the, for the end time ministry. People that will spend money to extend the kingdom. I mean, they were talking about Mary, the cost of the perfume that Mary wasted, according, Jude, according to Judas, on Jesus' feet. Perfume is the amount of money we spend on perfume in proportion to our income is normally very little, isn't it? By the time she could spend perfume that they said was worth a year's income, she must have been rich. Friends, that is the sort of marketplace people that will spend on the kingdom. In 2015, we believe that the time is now for the manifestation of the sons of God, whom the earnest expectation of creation is eagerly awaiting. That's Romans 8, 18, 18 to 20. When the enlightened to whom it's been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God that have been hidden or kept secret from the ages, but should come to light and begin to illuminate as they reveal these mysteries. Friends, the Bible says that the things, the, there are mysteries in the word of God. When Jesus talked about the parable of the sower, he said, these things belong to you, but to others they'll be told in parables. The Bible is full of secrets that we need to be able to decode. And when we decode those secrets, friends, that is the wisdom that the world is looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, our theme this year is manifest because we believe that the time is now for these the manifestations of these sons of God. And we believe the Bible says in, in Daniel chapter 11 verse 32, he says all those that know their God shall become strong and do great exploits. And our approach this year like in the past is to mobilize Christian leaders. 
past, present, and future. And what we'll do from sectors of the marketplace. And we shall together get impacted with insights that will empower us to manifest. Imagine an army. I always picture, paint this picture for us. Imagine an army of Christians in the marketplace gathered in one place hearing the same sound, speaking the same language, having influence in the decisions in every sect of this land. Imagine a time where everywhere you look, there is a true witness of Jesus Christ in every sect of the economy. It is possible, and we are the generation that want to make this happen. Friends, gone are the days when it wasn't cool to be a Christian. These days, I feel hot to show off that I'm a Christian. I'm also a successful banker. I'm not apologetic about how I do my job at work because I'm also good at it, but I'm still a Christian. Gone are the days when we would apologize for being Christians because Christians only know to pray well. We can also excel in what we do. The Bible says that if whatever you place your hands to do shall prosper. Friends, these are promises that are given to us, the sons of God. And those are the promises we need to claim because that is the sons of God, that God that need to be manifest. This is not going to be just another conference. It's going to be a divine visitation to the Christian leaders in the marketplace. And like we said, we believe it's time for Africa. There were no better choice of speakers. It's very interesting, the speakers we're going to have this year are actually spiritual sons of the speakers we've been having in the past. Julian is the son of Bishop Masinde. Dr. James Magara is the son of Pastor Leban Jumba. And Solomon is the son to Pastor Carlton. These are sons that have manifested. You know, many of us are waiting. I don't know for what, then we will show up. It is time to manifest. What is happening under current is preparation. David was looking after his father's sheep faithfully until the opportunity for him to take a snack to his brothers. And that's when he found the opportunity that the brothers were fearing Goliath. And that's when he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? And who is defying the name of our God? And that is when David came on the scene. We're talking about Joseph was in languishing in prison until he interpreted the dreams of two co-workers of former the state people that were in prison. It's amazing to see how Joseph, from being a houseboy, he became the best, the leader of houseboys. Friends, it doesn't matter what position you are in. Be the best. Be the best waiter. It doesn't be the best teller. Be the best sweet seller. It doesn't matter what position you are. The Bible is full of people that were very lowly, that did their best, and that's where they manifested. So there's no better choice of speakers than the ones we're having this year. And to open this year's conference, ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you our guest speaker, who is the group CEO and co-founder of MOD Mobile Decisioning Africa. Just to tell you what that is, most of us have got what we call Beraco. You know that airtime you borrow when you're out of airtime? Do you know that, that service? It's actually Julian's money that we borrow. He'll tell you more about that. It's actually, Julian is the one who is financing that airtime. He's an expert in nano credit. He's a motivational speaker. He's an anointed Bible teacher with an attested international prophetic call. He's the senior pastor of the Papa Center Church, Nairobi, Kenya. He has been nominated. He has been among the highly prestigious top 40 under 40. In Kenya, they recognize the top 40 40 successful people. He's been that twice, top 40 under 40. The first time Julian came to speak to us, he said he will be a millionaire by the age of 40. I will leave him to testify. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and invite our guest speaker, Reverend Julian Chula.